Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is array, the append node. I've gone ahead and fired up a quick little example here. I have nothing hooked up. Let's go ahead and check out what the append node is. So our append node is pretty simple. It allows us to append one array to the other array. It's going to append it at the end of it. And it's pretty simple to operate. You have an execute in, you have an execute out, and then you have two array inputs. Now because this is a array node and arrays can be different types, it's gonna come in as a wildcard. Now it doesn't really matter if you drag it in off of the array itself. Actually, I need a pen, let's try that again. Or if you right click and type in append and choose the append array, you're gonna get the same result. The difference being it simply will not be typed for an int in this case. If you uncheck it, let's drag in my string array, for example, and drop it in, it's simply gonna to change to only accept strings. Now that is one key important thing to note. If we plug in an int, it's gonna change both inputs to int. I cannot plug in a string, it's not going to work. It's gonna to attempt to convert it for me, but that's gonna fail. You can only append like arrays. So if you want to, for example, convert a int array into strings and then combine two string arrays, that's fine, but you cannot combine an int with a string. So let's see how this works. I have two arrays, an int array one and an int array two. Values in int array 1 are going to be 1, 5, and 9. And in int array 2, I'm going to have 2, 6, and 8. Let's hook this up, put it out here, and let's go ahead and pause so we can see execution. When we run this, and we actually set up the correct one this time, let's try that again. Let's go to append, and let's try that again and run it correctly we're gonna get it stopped here. Now if we look at our output, well, we have no output. It's not creating a new array, it's going to take the existing one and append the second one to the first one. So where we had a two, six, and eight, and before we had a one, five, and nine, now we have a one, five, nine, and a two, six, eight. So we have a length of six for our original array. So that is something to keep in mind. You're not combining two of them into a new one. You are adding on to the end of the original array. So that is what our pen note is for. It's useful if you need to combine two things into one. Maybe you have a few separate lists of enemies and then you need to perform one operation on all of them. You may be, the smart thing in that case would be to create a new blank array and then append all the other ones onto it so that way you can have one unique array with everything else that was in it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.